Hey there, I'm Chris Ponick, Certified Public Accountant, Certified Coach, and the host of the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast. And I want to welcome you to the sixth episode of a new series that I'm doing on this podcast. My intention is to drop one of these additional episodes every Monday while I continue to provide you with the regular Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast episodes, which will continue to help you take control of and understand your business finances with topics that ultimately impact your bottom line. I have many business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals who listen to this podcast, and I want to get more help out there for individuals like you when it comes to mastering your mindset. I'll be taking a few moments each week to touch on topics that many high-stress professionals are dealing with and provide solutions to help you increase your overall well-being. Because I know your time is valuable, just like the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, my goal is to keep these episodes short and straight to the point, but full of useful information to help you succeed in not only your professional life, but your personal life as well. We all have times in our lives where we feel discomfort. When discomfort comes up for you, how do you handle it? Are you afraid of feeling discomfort? Are you able to move through those feelings of discomfort? Are you willing to do the uncomfortable things in your life that cause you to feel discomfort? Most of the clients that I work with don't like the feeling of discomfort, and they find all kinds of different ways to avoid these feelings. But what I have found with so many of my clients is that the more they can choose to be uncomfortable, the more they are able to achieve the things that they truly want in their lives. Are you ready to find out how you can let feeling a little discomfort get you more in your life? Let's dive in. When you think about a time when you felt discomfort in something that you needed to do, were you afraid to feel that discomfort? Let's say, for example, you have an opportunity to give a presentation that would help you achieve more in your career, but you definitely feel uncomfortable about saying yes. Maybe you would have had thoughts that brought up even more fear, like, what if I don't do a good job? What will people think about me? Or what if nobody finds the presentation engaging? All of these uncomfortable feelings may have you decide to say no to the opportunity, but you might find yourself always wondering what would have happened if you had given the presentation anyway. What if I told you that you need to feel the uncomfortable things in your life to actually get what you really want? When people are dedicated to reaching their goals, they're willing to put themselves in challenging situations. Have you ever asked yourself why you're not where you want to be in your life? Let's say, for example, you want to lose 10 pounds. To achieve this goal, you'll probably have to feel some discomfort, and you'll have to fight the urges that you have to eat things when it's not in the best interest of you reaching your goal. Would you be able to move through these uncomfortable situations so that you are able to lose the 10 pounds that you're aiming for? If not, where does that leave you? This situation can be applied to most of the goals that we have in our lives. And as high-stress professionals, we're already dealing with a lot of discomfort in our lives, making it even harder to endure more discomfort to get what we want. The more that we can choose to be uncomfortable and put ourselves out there, the more we decide to try new things and keep doing them even if we're failing, the more successful we're going to be. If you want to reach more of the goals in your life, you need to embrace the discomfort. It's really the key to living the life that you truly want. So, what causes all of the discomfort that we're feeling? Why do we hold ourselves back from allowing those uncomfortable feelings? And, what can we do to embrace the discomfort and do it anyway? It's pretty simple, and there are only two things that you need to know. If you'd like to continue listening to the rest of this podcast, I invite you to sign up for my free private podcast, where I do a deeper dive into this topic on the Mastering Your Mindset Moments podcast 
for high-stress professionals. When you're busy working in a high-stress profession, it's often hard to accomplish what you truly want in your life. This private podcast offers solutions that you can immediately apply to your life so that you can not only achieve your goals, but increase your sense of purpose, satisfaction, and lead a more fulfilling and enjoyable life. You can sign up at financialadventure.com slash private to hear about the solutions I provide on this topic. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals where you're listening to this podcast.